What's up Marwin fans, this is Raphael from C Manga and welcome back to another review of the Breaker New Waves, this week's chapter 190. So I'm literally like, good, did that really happen? I I wasn't expecting, I was really wasn't expecting that to happen, I don't know, I, I was kind of on the fence thinking maybe, um, you know, Quan is alright, but I think the death flags were there and I'm kind of more like, God damn it, that like, this could have been avoided rather than, uh, you know, I'm upset. I am upset, obviously, because if Elder Quan is actually dead, that is a brilliant character gone. He's one of my favourites. You see my, um, if you haven't seen my reviews, I've quoted him so many times, like, his lines are freaking bad off. And not only that, the Sunwoo clan is going to suffer. They're going to lose another strong Elder. Elder Jeong was bad enough, but losing Elder Quan, that's going to be a massive blow. Jin Lee is going to lose a grandfather. You know, um, Shi Wen is going to lose someone very um, loyal, to, who's been very loyal to him, you know, ever since he became Gaiju and everything. Um, well, you know what I mean, when he started to become loyal to him, because they obviously had a rocky start, and now he's really, you know, lived up to it. And you can see in this, um, his main intentions were somewhat um, based on his master's teachings or his ideals where we see in the flashback that um, Elder Kwan's master said that he, his basically dream is to have the Sun Wu Clan be the best in the world and it's funny because Kwan obviously was kind of indifferent about this he thought it was kind of funny and um, obviously his master didn't care he's like well you know you're not living unless you're dreaming I believe this dream will happen and I will carry this till I'm dead and he's like no I'll make sure this passes on my ideals will pass on to the younger generation and this is basically from what I'm seeing this is what Elder Kwan um, wants to do for Shi when he says yes I'll make sure that that man's um, will um, lives on so it's obviously he wants that to live on through Shi Wen and it kind of makes me think it's, it's kind of forceful to do that you know I know obviously he sees that Shi Wen is probably the perfect guide you for the Sun Wu Clan but um, it's like what about Shi Wen? You know, does he want to do this? Like, as I said, from what I've seen, Shi Wen kind of just wants to be, you know, the retainer until Soul Soul comes back, even though I don't think she's going to. But that's kind of his mind for him. He's looking after the um, clan. Obviously, he's not just doing it as, like, oh, I'm just a caretaker. He's looking after it with full intent, but he doesn't see himself as permanent. But on the flip side as well, Elder Kwan is kind of doing this for Chung um, Shi Wen's, I'd say. Um, I'd say well-being as well as he intends to sever the relationship between Chongwu and Shi Wen. In the last chapter, he um, or the chapter before that, he said this guy is basically always going to be in the shadow of his master, no, what, no matter what he does. And this is what he's thinking. So, in my opinion, I feel like he's underestimating Shi Wen and thinks he's going to follow his um, his master Chongwu like a lost lamb and just you know always kind of give him the free pass to escape. So it's like, you know, it's like um, good intentions, bad actions, because I still think Elder Kwan shouldn't have done this. I still believe that Shi Wen was going to resolve this um, basically um, in a peaceful manner. It did seem like Chang Wu might have given over the detonator, but who knows, because at this point we're never going to find out. And um, I, I just don't know how, um, what's going to happen next, as I said. But. Um, the rest of the chapter was, as I said, it was short, so there wasn't really much um, else to talk about other than the fact that um, we see um, everyone is literally on their way. Hai Ilgang is struggling to get up the mountain. The two remaining clan leaders of the Sun Wu clan are coming by car, but they're having a very bad feeling similar to what Jin Lee and Sarah Kang and as well as Ju San Sik had last time. But... Um, we also got to see Giyu Bum and um, Daesun and it's kind of sad because their group was you know finishing searching some we building for explosives and they're preparing to go and support Shi Wu and Kwon and it was kind of funny that Giyu was basically saying oh we need to hurry or we'll be, we'll be scolded and one of the um, some we clan members was like yeah I really hate that so you know it's like kind of a little um, jokey um, expectation of what Quan is like and they're looking forward to see him kind of thing but at this point he's dead and that panel really did it for me where we see like a fist imprinted in him blood's going everywhere and everyone's reactions were as expected um, literally I was really um, not surprised 
by anyone's um you know reaction to how this um uh, what happened in it i mean Juju and seeks was really he looked really shocked obviously generally was uh, completely astounded even um cool guy was you know shocked so it leads me to think what is she reaction going to mean next time does it is it going to lead to him going black origin um threshold or is he still going to try and resolve a piece of resolution so as i said that's what i'm really looking forward to see um what she win is going to do next time but um i'm kind of surprised that um what's it people are you know saying that she win is a crap protagonist they need he needs to be taken away and when i think about it um he he I, I think people are underestimating she win as i said i said before when um i don't truly believe that the whole training he wants to be his um, disciple again is all true i feel like you know she was done a lot of stuff like this before where it was just a ruse so he could you know calm down the situation or in another case if he was attacking someone let them drop their guard and he would finish them off in this case i feel like he was trying to lower the tension settle it and i don't feel like he's you know believing anything that chung Wu was saying um, I don't think he's stupid enough to just, you know, accept it. And he's like, oh, yes, Master, let's go. Obviously, he's, he's Master, but in the end, you know, a lot of crap has happened. And I, I truly believe Shiwin isn't that stupid to just, you know, um, follow him and train with him again. I just think he wanted to, he's Master to get away, but at the same time, he wants to resolve the situation. He did say, I want um, there to be a situation where my Master, Chang Wu, and the Mirror Alliance don't clash, and he wants to save the city of Seoul. So... I definitely think you know he needs more credit given everyone's cussing him um about he's useless he he couldn't even put up a fight with um chung Wu. he's um elder kwan was right to attack he should have stopped him things like that all of this is you know overwhelming he's i feel like he was trying his best and i feel like he was trying to resolve this peacefully and speaking of fighting when you think about it there's no way he with the amount of time he's been training and preparing he would be able to match up to um chong chong wu even he, i don't even think he's at the level of um, elder Kwan yet so you know i um the only way i feel like he could be of matches if he goes into obviously black origin threshold and when you think about it the um when you think about the i'd say the the time space of these chapters i feel like it i swear it's only been one day i mean he had a spa this morning with um so chung hook he was confronted by, you know, he confronted the Nine Arch Dragon later in the Murum Alliance. He'd done this triple blossom meditation, which obviously was tiring, and he got that was interrupted as well. He was in a car bomb, um, and then after that, I remember he was confronted by Jay Gal. Then he went with, um, what do you call it, the glasses guy, I can't remember his bloody name, um, and sprinted all the way up the mountain. He was fighting bear people up there as well. Then he had a um, he had to fight three SUC captains at once. Who are at master level, um, got to the mountain in quick time. He had to duel with Zhang Chan, and then eventually he had to fight with um, Chang Wu himself again. And he, he pretty much got his ass handed to him. So he gave the guy a break. I mean, he is trying. As I said, I feel like he's um, trying to resolve the situation quite peacefully. And as I said, he's had a lot of fights and training up to this point like in the space of a day so i feel, i'm i'm not disappointed by him i before i was conflicted with with, with what is he's doing is it right but now i feel like i honestly feel that he was trying to resolve this peacefully and he was trying to somewhat trick chung Wu into letting his guard down give the detonator and go that's what i think it was and elder kwan sacrificing himself would be a waste so um let's see what happens next time maybe she will go into black origin for sure maybe you won't and you will surprise us and do something different i don't know juice and seek along Jin Lee, i definitely feel like they're going to lose their shit and go crazy maybe juice and seek could save elder Kwan, who knows but the way this chapter was laid out seemed like elder Kwan actually might be dead so that's all i can think about this chapter it was quite brilliant it's just a shame you know elder Kwan seemed like he just wasted his life um and you know she could have averted that completely and the whole situation could have gone down obviously i get his point the some clan might have taken the blame but we who knows we don't know how it would have turned out by now so that's more or less i um, what i think about this chapter i enjoyed it, it was very dramatic the artwork is always brilliant and the tense um, situation was well played out so if you guys in the usual leave your comments and i'll speak to you guys next week